This just happened. Now, you are a superstar in your own right, but you got to play with the Rolling Stones. I did, yeah. You got to be a part of that band. Yeah. You know, that's just, I, mean, I think we have a picture here. This just happened the other night. Unless this is Photoshopped, or yeah, those are cardboard cutouts. <laughs> you can get those on the promenade. Uh, <laughs> How did this happen, first of all? How, how do you get to, to, to play with the Rolling Stones? Um, Mick called me, literally, and, uh, and, and said, you know, do you want to sit in with us? And, and I said, let me think about it. And I said, no. <laughs> did you put him on hold? That no. would have been great. <laughs> I was like, I, I was fantastic. And he said he wanted to do uh, Respectable. And, and before I knew it, I was at, I was at Soundcheck at the, at the arena, and we did Respectable. It was amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah, now, do they all show up for Soundcheck? I mean, I'm thinking yeah, at this point, they, you'd think they'd know their material. Well, you know? it, was the, it was the first show of the tour, okay. and, um, and, and Gwen Stefani was sitting in as well. And, um, and so they ran all these songs. They soundchecked for nearly, I mean, it must have been two hours, uh, close to two hours they played, all of them, and then took a break, of course, and then they did their two-and-a-half-hour show. It was amazing. Their stamina is is, is insane. What's the point where your soul leaves your body and you just think, I can't believe this is happening? Is it when you're playing guitar next to Keith Richards or when you're singing next to Mick Jagger or some combination of both? It's all of it. I mean, just to look around and see Charlie Watts back there is, is insane. It was, it was amazing. And Mick has such ferocity when he sings. I mean, to be inches away from him. He's also the fact that he's in such amazing shape, right? Someone, he's in incredible shape. He's like 120 years old, and he's just... <laughs> no, I, I, he really is. He fought in the Civil War. <laughs> and he's English, which makes no sense. No. Uh, he just wanted to be part of that battle. But, uh, but yeah, apparently he runs like you know, 20 miles a day or something. He's in incredible shape. Yeah, great, great shape. Had you ever played in a rock band before? Because you're, you're a country oh, uh, music well, guy. Well, I played in a rock band for about a week. Because uh, I, I, I started playing guitar when I was six. And I grew up playing country music. Uh, when I was about 15, a friend of mine was in a band, and he wanted to be the singer. So he said, I want you to be the guitar player. The band was called Fractured Mirror, right? And it was a heavy metal band. You were in a heavy metal band? Yeah, for about a week. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they did like Judas Priest, Scorpion, Sax, and Black Sabbath, all this stuff, right? So I joined the band, and I've got my, my Strat and my Marshall amp and everything. But I had just discovered this guy called Ricky Skaggs. Yeah, And, right. and I loved his records. And so we're playing like a Judas Priest song and they throw me this solo and I'm like, so wham, da -ka -da -ka -da, all this chicken picking guitar solo. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, they're singing like, and the devil comes and the... Sorry. I had an identity crisis at a young age. Did they you kick know. you out? Did they say you gotta they get out? They fired me. Wow. Yeah. That was that, a mistake. That was the end of it.